A few weeks ago, we saw Brian Shaw being shown the basics by Derek, one of the best teachers in the Western Hemisphere. He went through all of the fundamental positions and angles, and then through the strengths required and ways to improve them, and he seemed to take it very well, showing a real interest in pursuing it. Fast forward a few weeks, and in response to the violent assault on Brian by Eddie Hall, we've seen it has been taken to a trial by combat, as all things probably should be. So we get the chance to see if and how Derek's teaching has been absorbed and worked upon by Brian. Brian is starting peacefully, but Eddie is channeling his inner Devon and challenging everything from the get-go to gain any advantage and potentially psych out the opponent. The referee too, Robert Oberst, seems like not one of the most fair and experienced referees you could ask for, so Eddie's tactics may prove very detrimental to Brian. In the grip up, we can see Brian definitely is showing dominance with immediate back pressure, a deep grip, and leaving Eddie just hanging on. Referee seems to think the grip is off, but Eddie seems satisfied, perhaps his ignorance is showing. Brian has very visible rising and is loading into his pronation, whilst Eddie is trying to wrap all around his hand and ends up supinating himself from the get go. And as a result, Brian is immediately in a better position, a very high and tight hook with good side pressure holding. He's taking time to analyse his position, being very technical, while Eddie is just barely hanging on in that losing, opened up, supinated position, and looking him dead in the eyes. The advantage is absolutely his. An easy pin, just like that. Brian shows just how important gaining the hand is before pinning, reminiscent of Yanis Amelin's. And again, Eddie is contesting the positions, but Brian reverses Eddie's attempt at psychological warfare by making Eddie look the rookie, right to his face, which seems to upset him. Second round, a slightly better setup for Eddie, but he's still open at the elbow, heavily supinated, and just looks absolutely powerless in contrast to Brian's calm, tight, and compact angled, and visibly dominant hand position. A clear early start, very dominant from Brian, they let it slide, but just as he realises his losing position, Eddie calls out the foul. A reset, and look at that tremendous posting from Brian. A man of that size posting against you as a shorter opponent is a terrifying thought. An absolutely textbook posting top role. He's pulled Eddie entirely out of any position he had, and at this point he's just toying with him. Very reminiscent of Taras Vakin, but slower. Brian versus Laletin would be a very interesting match to see if we give Brian a few more years of training. On to the left. 2-0 to Brian. And that's a definite foul, and grounds to disqualify Brian in most federations, but this is Brian's gym, so Eddie may not be able to play that card. Brian is definitely starting cupped while Eddie is supinated, but the referee sees no issue with Brian continuing into a hook, leaving Eddie with very little options. He could try to pronate out through the fingers, but from this angle it would be very, very difficult. He really needs to try and separate Brian's elbow angle to gain some leverage. Brian seems to be trying to press, but just pronating from here seems the easiest way to the pad, but maybe he wants to test his angles. And he continues with the press, perhaps to more fully embarrass Eddie after the initial incident. And Eddie is definitely feeling that in the elbow, citing his previous bicep injury as cause to retire and give the win to Brian. And then sneaks in a nut shot, a true Devon Larratt student. Overall, it looks like Brian has very much taken the lessons from Derek to heart. His angles and positions are not perfect, his strategies show he doesn't quite know how to act and react properly yet, but overall his victory over Brian was done with good technique and efficiency, as we can see by his arms feeling fine afterwards and Eddie's being destroyed. Perhaps Engintezi could invite Brian for a match at a future East vs West, but who would be a good opponent for him? Thor has recently trained with Michael Todd and is a fellow strongman with similar proportions. Larry Wheels is shorter but has been practicing for longer. It would be interesting to see that, although judging by Brian's posting he might absolutely dominate. Who else is there? Tell us in the comments and maybe a match may happen in the future. In the meantime, if you want to discuss more topics like this, go and join the Discord or sign up to my Patreon for programming and other perks. I'll see you next time.